excuses, I am not buying it. You are awesome, and I am Jay Diesel. How's it going, chats? And welcome back to the channel for some more NBA Live Mobile. Now, we've got new team of the weeks in the game. Now, the said hero for this week is going to be a 91 overall Nikola Jokic for the big man lineup. He's got 82 speed, 77 dribbling, 75 three pointer, 82 shooting, 87 defense, with an 89 passing. And now, the 48 hour hero card impacts today. Uh, is going to be a 92 overall Derrick Rose for the small ball lineup. He's got 88 speed, 83 shooting, 96 dribbling, 67 defense, along with 77 three pointer, and finishing it off with an 86 passing. Now, let me know in the comment section if you do agree with this week's team of the weeks. But of course, that is not what this video is about. This video is about the 94 overall Steve Nash, the 1996 15 overall pick by the Phoenix Suns. So, in three. Two, one, and boom! That man is 94 overall, Steve Nash. This man looking absolutely amazing. He's got 92 speed, 63 shooting, 93 dribbling, 60 defense, along with 93 pointer and 97 passing. Nash earned his first trip to the All-Star Game in 2002. It was his best season to date with average of 18 points and 8 assists per game. Of course, drafted in 1996, and then he was traded away to the Mavericks in 98, just two short years later. Um, and uh, yeah, and then he uh, did a lot of great things with Dirk and um, the Mavericks, but in 2004, he went back to Phoenix. So we'll upgrade the lineup there. And there we go. Uh, actually, no, Mello, get out of here, Mello. No, <laughs> we got a theme team here for Steve Nash. This is like, I wanted to get the 89 Kobe because of course he did come to LA and I played with Kobe Bryant. Uh, but of course, the, the, the Kobe, the 89 Kobe is on the auction block for like 9 million coins. Obviously, don't have enough to get that. But all these guys, he has played with Vince Carter, Joe Johnson, of course, Dirk Nowitzki, and of course, Amari Stoudemire. So we were in the, we'll be going with the uh, Dallas Mavericks and the Phoenix Sun jerseys because of course, we've got as many teammates. And actually, all these guys here have actually played for the same team except for Joe Johnson. Uh, everybody else has played for the Mavericks. Uh, Amari's played for the Mavericks. Vince Carter has, of course, Dirk still plays for the Mavericks. Amari, I mean, uh, Joe Johnson, the only one that has not played for the Mavericks, uh, but you know, it would have been nice. If they got Grand Hill in the game, definitely he should be in the shooting lineup to pair with Steve Nash, because uh, he, he and Grand Hill uh, had some really good years together, so really, really good. But this is the team that we're going to be rolling with, seeing what the Steve Nash can do. It's time to dive in to a head-to-head -head game. All right, team chat, so we found a 94 overall two-way lineup. It's got the 95 Tony Parker, 94 T-Mac. He's got 95 LeBron James along with Bob Pettit and Wilt Chamberlain. Now, I've never actually gone up against this uh, Tony Parker before, but seeing how he stacks up against Steve Nash, he's got one more speed. We have the same dribbling. He's, we got more than three pointer by eight. And we also have uh, less shooting, less defense, and we've got more passing by three, which is kind of like the same. So this matchup should be really, really good. Hopefully we can get the best of this Tony Parker. All right, it starts diving into it. We're losing the tip off right off the bat. That was poor timing on my behalf right there. But we're gonna get that steal immediately. Getting it up to Steve. Steve's gonna take that and he's gonna dunk it right off the bat. Now Steve Nash has had some dunks in his time. Of course, getting to the basket was one of the good things. He was he was really great at getting to the basket. But of course, just no, never dunking it down though. That often, usually fast breaks, much like Steph Curry. Not known for dunking, but on a fast break, he can pull it off. So getting this rebound here, there we go, getting it to Dirk. Of course, I could have threw that alley -oop, but of course, you gotta get you gotta get one, at least one highlight of Steve going up top with it, right? You gotta get one, pulling the three, and Steve's gonna knock that down. There we go. Oh my goodness! You know what? Already looking nice so far. Nice little transition dunk, three pointer in the face of 95 Tony Parker. That is looking really good. You guys already know how much I do not like Tony Parker, so we are trying to embarrass him as much as possible. Steve again on the fast break. He's gonna lay this one in this time. I was hoping to get a nice dunk. Get up, get Tony on the poster. That's what I really wanted. I wanted to get Tony on a poster. Let's see if we can get the steal off him though. Can we get it up? Oh, we got it there. Let's go. Run with me. Run with me. Come on, Johnson. There we go. Throw it up. And he's gonna lay. There we go. Very nice pass by Steve Nash. Joe Johnson getting that one in. I built this Steve Nash for about what? I think 3.8 million. I snapped a few of them. I had to wait a little bit until those collectibles came down. Of course, Dirk. There we go. Dirk Nowitzki. Steve Nash to Dirk Nowitzki. Getting his assist game on. That's what we're talking about. 11 points already. Looking good out here. So far, Tony Parker not really having much to do with us at all. Wilt, give me that. We've got that. We've got that. We're going to pull another three, though. Oh, nope. There we go. 
Get off of him. No, you don't, you can't, you can't handle Steve. You can't handle Steve Nash in the corner. Two guys on him. Steve Nash is still knocking it down. He is looking so good right now. All right, Steve. Definitely. I mean, I was so glad to actually get rid of award winner Steph. I fought so hard to get him. And I mean, I don't know. His, his play just deteriorated over the time. Like, he literally is not as good as he used to be. Oh, T-Mac. Nope. He, he's the one in his spot, though. But he's still going to knock that out quite wide open. Let's see now. Let's hit the buzzer beater here. Let's hit the buzzer beater on Tony Parker. We got five. We got four. He's getting hit with the screen. Three, two, one. A deep three for Smash. <laughs> I did not. I wanted to come in a bit closer, but I started to just. I messed it up. I messed it up horribly. Let's just put it like that. I messed that up horribly. So, of course, chaps, you know good and well we had to test this man against the 95 overall NBA master, Russell Westbrook. Now, you see, Russ has got the more speed. We have a little more dribbling. We've got a uh, more three-pointer by 10, which is pretty significant. He's got better shooting, and, of course, he's got better defense, which 86 is really, really good. And we've got better passing by 7, so this should be a pretty good matchup. All right, team, trying not to lose the tip-off this time. There we go. Not going to lose the tip-off this time. Nash is going to wide open three right off the bat. He's training that. Not even needing a perfect release. So far, already looking better than Steph Curry. But of course, it is the inaugural time of him being out. So uh, hopefully over time, the same does not happen to him where his play just deteriorates. I don't know. I don't know. Guys definitely do play different than uh, in head-to-head -head than they do in league versus league. I will say that much. I've noticed that. I have noticed that even uh, the 99 Kevin Durant plays a little bit different in league versus league. He misses a few more shots than he normally would in regular head-to-head. -head. So definitely they've got some type of tweak on league versus league. Because I was like, wait a minute, KD's not missing his shots. He's not. But this is about Steve Nash. Let's get back to it. Trying to play some defense here. And um, we're profiling out of bounds with Steve Nash right now. And right now, Russell Westbrook, what are you doing? He's being a ball hog. He's going to shoot that. Not going to make it though. All right, let's get it back to Nash there. There we go. Of course, we've got to get into the lane. Let's get into the lane now. He's got nice floaters. Getting up there, laying it in. Right over Carl Malone. Not going to do anything about that. Steve Nash was excellent at getting in the lane. He was he was good at floaters too. He was a really good. He shot a lot of floaters, actually. So we'll try to get some of them off, I guess. we got to try to do everything Nash used to do. Of course, I wish we had some flashy passes in this game. That would be amazing. That would be absolutely awesome. If we had some flashy passes in this game. Let's see. Oh, step back. No, I wanted to go for the floater, but that is not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do at all. So that is my fault there, Steve. I do take full responsibility for that. Up uh, in the lane. Is anyone going to shoot the ball? Are they just going to pass it around? This is not the Harlem Globetrotters. There we go. Get the steal. All righty. I think, yeah, yeah, you should, I should be able to do that. So spin the lane. There we go. No, nope, step back again. That's not what I want to do. I'm not trying to do a step back. Now, any other time, I can do fade away. I can do those runners very, very easily. Now, all of a sudden, I can't seem to do them. Oh, man. I'm trying to do... I, I mean, I usually get that down really, really easily. I can usually do floaters at will. And now, all of a sudden, it won't work. So, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. But we're going to pull another three with Nash. Finally, a perfect release. Knocking that down there. All right, see. So, last game, I'll probably put him in the Lakers jerseys, actually. Let's see. No, I tried to jump earlier. No, it would not give me the jump. And he is going to make that, of course, in his clutch ability. All right, let's get it back to Nash again. This time, let's actually hit the buzzer beater this time. There we go. In his face. <laughs> there we go. He's knocking it down. Oh, we left the point one of the clock. We left point one of the clock, but no big deal. We're still knocking that down. 16 points, really, without even trying. All right, dude, chaps. So finally, we got a 93 overall defensive lineup with the 94 hero of the month, James Harden along with T-Mac. He's also got LeBron James, 90 overall uh, Anthony Davis, and 89 overall Carl Anthony Towns. So seeing how these both 94s stack up against each other, we've got better speed, better dribbling, we've got better three. He has the better shooting, better defense, and we've got the better passing. So hopefully, we should be able to get the better of it. All right, try not to lose this tip off here. There we go. We're going to try to get Nash. I don't know. I want to do some runners. I want to get some runners in here. But uh, here we go. There we go. Finally got a floater off. We finally got a photo off with Steve Nash. That's what I'm talking about. The man was absolutely fantastic at those. And his fadeaway was good as well. So we'll have to check that as well. We'll have to go for his fadeaway and see how it looks. And we got to get him with some assists as well. So let's see. Fadeaways for Steve Nash. Where's he at with them? Back it up. Back it up, Steve. Perfect release. He's knocking it down. Okay. But of course, only one fadeaway 
does not constitute being a good fadeaway shooter. So we'll have to take a couple more. Um, hopefully we can get some steals here and um, get some more possessions. But James Harden, like I said, he was easy to steal from. He's usually easy to steal from. Any version of his card is. But now all of a sudden, they don't want to give the ball up as Carl Anthony Towns walks right down Broadway. And he jumps that one down. Alrighty then. Let's see. Spin, uh, spin that in again. Alright, back up. Oh, over top of like three people there. It's <laughs> like everybody just came right at him at once. Everybody was coming in at Steve at once. That was crazy. I thought they were all going to jump. Actually, that would have been really bad. He probably got blocked all the way back to the other side of the court. And no one is playing defense in the lane right now. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, everyone's falling asleep right now. I guess they said, you know what? If we're not playing offense and Steve's doing all the offense, then we are not playing defense. And Steve Nash, okay. Steve Nash is knocking down his fadeaways. He's looking good on those. So we're gonna let him. We're gonna let him go with that. We're gonna get some. Uh, we're gonna try to get everybody else involved now. Try to get some assists for Steve. We did that at the beginning. Got some nice alley oops. And Dirk, no, I tried to get the steal. I tried to strip him as he went by, but he was not having it at all. So let's see. Can we get something nice to Amori? Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Anything to Dirk? Oh, wide open in the corner. Joe Johnson. I thought he threw that to Dirk, but he went all the way to Dirk. Okay, that was a good pass. That was a really good pass. He even fooled me on that. He fooled me on that one there. Let's see. Oh, no, Carter, come on. No, okay, he's got his, he's got his ability activated already. It's okay, we only got 28 seconds left. I mean, this two minutes goes so fast, it's absolutely ridiculous. All right, let's get, um, let's get some more points in. Actually, who's open? Who's open? Anyone open? Dirk, there you go. Flip it off to Dirk, and Dirk's going to knock that down. There we go. 14 seconds. We should be able to get the ball back one more time if T-Mac doesn't stand in the backcourt and play around. And uh, now he's going to give it to James Harden, and he's going to play around. Like, no, we wouldn't have to have the last shot, and they're going to... Okay, they're just going to shoot around now. All right, dude, they just ruin everything. Like, every time I try to do something, they try to ruin it. But, yeah, I'm really liking this Steve Nash. This Steve Nash was definitely worth... He was worth the build. Even though it is early with the Steve Nash, he's already playing better than Steph Curry. Um, like I said, I fought so hard to get that 90 overall Steph just to have just a few games of him playing at his full potential and then all of a sudden he just starts to play really really bad so let me know if your Steph Curry has played bad for you and um, I know a lot of people said they don't like the 90 overall Steph I, I, I don't know I, like, I think that he's one of those guys that got nerfed after a while because maybe people were complaining about him on forums or whatever I don't know but Steph Curry definitely does not play like he used to. But so far, this Steve Nash has been absolutely amazing. And I love this card. I might actually keep this lineup here. I like this lineup here with Vince Carter, Joe Johnson, Dirk Nowitzki, and um, uh, Amari Stoudemire. So I might actually keep this card. And I'm going to try to grind out. I want to get that 89 Kobe so bad. But he's never, he's never on the auction for a reasonable price. Like 9 million coins, that is absolutely insane. I know it's like the, I think it's like the only, the highest Kobe in the game, so that's probably why he's staying at that price, but uh, I just wish I could get my hands on that card one time. I might literally sell everybody, buy the Kobe, do a review, and then sell him back, but then probably get caught with the fact that no one will buy him, and then I'll be stuck with an 89 Kobe, Kobe Bryant, and literally no team. So I definitely don't want that to happen. That might happen, so I think I might just hold off on it. I mean, hopefully, maybe... Somehow in the future, Kobe will come to the game again. It would be nice to see a 95, 99 overall Kobe in the game. Uh, would be nice. So Kobe Bryant, if you're listening, get in the game. I need your card. I do need it very, very badly. But this Steve Nash, absolutely amazing, guys. Let me know if you have this card or whether you're thinking about getting this card or not. But so far, he has played very, very well. I like it very much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a thumbs up would be super appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, chat. You are awesome, and I am Jay Diesel. See you.